Hello everyone, I just literally got back in the car from London and I thought I'd give you a very quick update on the back of a call I had this morning over Zoom with the Ukrainian Agrarian Forum. So I spoke to Maria with various members of my team and I asked her to really outline as clearly as she could the challenges they are facing. I. I really don't have words for the bravery of the Ukrainian people and the bravery of the farmers and how they are facing into this sort of against all odds really. So Maria talked about a situation that is absolutely dire on the need for fuel. They really urgently need uh, access to fuel the farmers there. They also have a shortage of herbicides, of vet meds, of seed so a lot of concerns there she talked about being optimistic and hoping that they would plan to get 50 percent of the cropped area planted but realistically on a worst case scenario it could well only be 30 percent there are massive issues uh, with access to labor going forwards because all the men have gone off to fight so nobody knows quite what that will look like uh, in the east of Ukraine, it's sort of occupied by the Russians, so very hard to know what damage has been done there. Um, I've got to say, in, in all my time at the NFU and throughout my lifetime, uh, I don't think I've ever done a call that moved me so much. And moved me so much because you just feel so completely helpless. I think the best thing we can do is is to try and get, get money to them through our offices in Brussels and our relationships with other member states. We'll be doing everything we can to get vet meds, herbicides, fuel, seeds, everything they need to them. But ultimately what they need is this war to end and to marginalize the Russian regime that is leading it. So massive implications uh, for the world too and global food security. It's gonna be a huge issue when I look to the countries that Russia and Ukraine provide 100% of their grain, some really challenging areas, countries like Eritrea, 100% of their grain. So that's it from me. I just thought you'd really like to have a quick update on that. I've given her my phone numbers and told her that we will do whatever we can to help them. But it puts sort of life here in perspective when you talk to them and, and realise firsthand actually what they're going through. Anyway, as ever, take care. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thanks. Bye.